Hey, this is Samantha Thompson, Executive Director with 31, and I'm going to show you today how to make a fall catalog request form in Google Forms. Now, I really like this because I'm not just getting someone um, here and there asking for catalogs, and it's hard to keep track of who I've sent them to and who to follow up with. Um, hopefully, you've heard the saying, mail and call or don't mail at all, and that's really about following up once you've sent somebody something in the mail. So I like this fall catalog request form because it's easy for me to keep track of who's requested a catalog, who I've sent a catalog to, and then also who I've followed up with. In addition to that, rather than um, just you know getting their address for the catalog, I can ask them questions to kind of generate some leads for my upcoming season. So in my fall catalog request, I of course ask their name and their address. Then I ask if they would like more information on joining 31 and how they can make some extra cash, get some free products, and have more girl time. And you can see my responses here, and I've included a picture of the enrollment kits. I then ask if they're interested in hosting a face-to-face -face party, and I have a couple um, months listed down here for them to choose. I then ask if they're interested in hosting a Facebook party, and I, again, have a couple months. And then I ask if they're interested in joining my Hostess of the Month Club. Then it finally just says, thanks for filling out your survey. Your catalog will be mailed soon. So once I submit this, then I'm able to see all of their responses. And if I kind of go back, I think I can show you. Okay, so here's their responses. And so I can look at this um, individually. I can look at it as a summary. If I click on individual, it'll tell me each person who filled this out. And then I can also um, hit create spreadsheet. And then you can see I have it right here in an Excel spreadsheet with all of their information. So this makes it really easy for me to just add another category, you know, catalog mailed, and I can add the date, follow up number one, and I can, you know, add the date. So that makes it super easy for me to um, track everybody and keep in, you know, know who I've talked to and who I haven't. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how to create this so that you can use one for your business. So just go to google.com slash forms. Or if you just Google Google Forms, it'll pop up. And then once you do, you're going to click on Google Forms. Now, you might have to create a, um, a login if you haven't done that already. Mine is already automatically logged in, and so I don't have to do that. You'll see up here there's a couple different templates, but I usually just start with a blank one. And then you're going to name your form. And then you're going to just start typing your questions. And then you can see this answer box kind of changes over here based on the type of question that I ask. But if not, you can always change it. And then I also recommend that you make your um, responses required. So that way people have to fill out each question that you ask. And then you can, if you have a multiple choice question, fill in your answer. So, and if you do something and you don't want it, it's really easy to get rid of it. And then um, here's where I usually add a picture in. So if you just click on pictures, and then you're going to choose the image to upload. Of course, you have to have downloaded these. And um, all the pictures that I'm using are already on um, TOT. So 
list. If you just go to TOT and you look under marketing and look under fall, you'll see um, all these pictures are already uploaded for you there. So I just download them and then I can use them in my forms. So I've chosen the enrollment kit picture. And you'll see that pops up. And then I would just go down here and hit the plus sign to do a new question. This little arrow box right here lets you kind of drag your questions and move them around. So it's really easy. You can change your drop down menu to the kind of answer that you want people to get, be able to give, make it required, um, duplicate in case you have like, you know, you could do that with the home party and or home party and Facebook party and just duplicate and then change the question but your answers would be the same. And then what I like to do is usually click on this preview button. And then that shows me exactly what it looks like when people are filling it out. So then I can just close this and go back. Um, up here is your color palette so that you can change that. And then when you're completely ready and you fill this all out, you are gonna hit this button that says send. Once you do, then I usually click on the button that says link and I click shorten URL. And then I just copy this link and then I can paste this in my customer group or email it out to my customers to have them fill out for the catalog request. And I usually just keep this link um, in a notes section on my phone. So anytime anyone messages me and says what, that they would like a catalog, I can send them this link and just say, hey, fill this out and I will get one in the mail to you right away. So that's pretty simple and easy. If you just kind of play around, you'll see Google Forms is pretty easy to use and it's a great way to generate some leads for your fall business. Hope this helps.